Hey, hello there. I am at stop number two on my trip in Topeka and Lawrence today, and I am at Truck Hens. All right, so here we are. We are at Car Hinge, my second stop on my trip through Topeka and Lawrence today. Um, interesting place. They really don't tell you when you look at pictures or look online how interesting the place is. I mean, the tour, the guy is awesome, and it's just a trip. You really got to come out and see it all. Uh, there is not just one, not two, not three, not four, but five caches out here. Five. So. I mean, that alone, besides all the awesome stuff, makes it worth a trip out for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one of the caches. It's a little spoilery, but if you come on the tour and you tell him you're geocaching, he will basically take you right to it, which is awesome because he's really nice, really helpful. So you should really come check out his work and everything he's doing out here. It tells you the whole story about how it started and what he's doing now. So let's go around and take a look. Uh, I'm going to just show you kind of the main area with truck hinge and boat hinge, but you got to come see everything else. It's a really cool, fun, and uh, interesting place to check out with an interesting guy who made it. So let's go take a look. take a walk down to boat hands real quick and check out that cache. Alright, I can't believe I almost forgot to mention that on the way down to boat hands he has this area he calls Party City. We got this big tower filled with bottles and concrete. You can actually go up close and look inside the bottles. There's bird nests and set even. Some wasp nests, but we didn't see any wasps today, so that's a good sign. And then he's got his little building right here. Then here, of course, is Boat Hinge. So he had some people, they had a private party and invited people to bring their own spray paint and paint and come on out and sign the boat and paint it. Someone signed an International Yoga Day on there, so that was interesting. And of course, down here in the bricks, it says Boat Hinge. He's got a bunch of different types of boats. Again, you know, he didn't want the city to say that these boats were going to float off down the river. Uh, so he put them in the ground, filled them with rock, made sure they couldn't float away. Now, about this time when I was on the tour is when he told me exactly where the cache was. And in fact, you're basically looking at it right now. It's in the third boat here. So we'll go ahead and take a look. I've already signed the log, but we'll go ahead and take a look where it's at. It took me a second to find it because when you get over here, it's right here under this rock. And it's way down in there and it's kind of hard to see. But I'll go ahead and get it out and show you. Ooh, shaky cam. Oh. All right. Open this baby up. Good old ammo can. Oh. Just a second. Ooh, right. Got it. The sign of a good log cache. It takes you a second to open it. A little bit of stuff in here. It's got the log. You can see. Signed it with my stampy stamp right there. I love my stamp. My friend Amy gave me that. She is awesome. And then one other thing that I almost forgot was my signature little magnet. Let me get it out here. Another one of my geocache magnets. Ooh, focus. Oh, almost showed you the code. Got to come on out and get this and. Uh, Get one of my magnets and log it on geocaching.com. So there it goes. We'll put that in there. Put that away. And get back out on the road again because, well, we got a busy day. we got a whole other vlog or two to film. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back. This up. All right. Well, you'll have to excuse the red face. Don't worry. I'm not sunburned. I'm just... Uh, really sensitive to heat and I get kind of pink you know us fair-skinned folks are not meant to be out in heat like this but I had fun it's 
It's a really cool place. You definitely got to come and check it out. Um, it's more than just, you know, a roadside attraction or outsider art. It's a whole experience. Like this guy, he's super friendly, super nice, you know. Uh, it's just kind of a trip. You got to come out and you got to experience it. And man, there's so many caches out here. You just got to come out, check it out, and see what it's all about. There's so much going on. Um, anyway, this is stop number two, so I got to get on the road and get on down to stop number three before it gets too late. So you guys go ahead and have a good time. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy caching, y'all. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay. See you next time. Bye.